Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. Guys, in this video today, we're gonna to talk about some things that can help you stay healthy, keep you from getting sick, um, help prevent you from getting sick. And if you are sick, things that I believe with all my heart can help you get better. Um, these are things that I've used throughout the years that have helped me get better. <clears throat> and not only that, these are the things that you don't hear about in the doctor's office. So I'm gonna run the gambit today and show you a bunch of different options that are out there um, that can help you. Uh, not only if, uh, you know, with the coronavirus thing going on, uh, this is stuff that you'll never hear in the doctor's office, so we're going to cover it. Uh, and I won't say never. There might be some good doctors out there, but a lot of them is just going to throw you pharmaceutical drug sorcery. These are actual things that could help you. All right, the first one's Nano Hacks Extreme Colloidal Silver. Um, there's a lot of colloidal silver out there. If you'll check at your um, health food store, um, you know, this right here has got a lot of silver in it, though. Um, and right here, you can read the information on that as well, and the dosage, et cetera. But, you know, colonial silver, if you want to go all the way back to like the bu bubonic plague, the black plague, right? Well, um, you know, they, there's a reason people say the silver spoon thing in your mouth, you know, because the blue bloods, the, uh, they say, you know, too much silver in your body will make your blood turn blue, uh, you turn blue. Well, there's a reason behind silver, you know, it, it's a natural antibiotic, right? And um, uh, immune system support. And so this is something that every prepper should get and put up on the shelf. Like this one I've got right here for my preps, it's good till 2024, 20, you know? So, I mean, and probably long past that as well, truth be known. Uh, next up is something I've used whenever I've been sick before. Guys, you need to keep this refrigerator. I would actually encourage you to keep the uh, Claudio Silver refrigerated too, but um, this is elderberry. All right, and I cannot go uh, and say enough good things about elderberry, but if you want to have something that can actually help keep you well um, and help support you, this is definitely this is definitely a go-to right here, and right there's the information on it. They're out of North Carolina. They're just over the hill from me, um, and uh, like I said, you want to talk about some immune system support, right here's some good stuff. Now, I want to pause for a second because people's going to laugh at me, but like this right here doesn't have pork in it because uh, a lot of gummies are made with pork, but I don't care that these are, uh, you know, men's gummies that they have the ones that are like, I think they have the ones that are like for 50 and above or whatever, uh, but man, you just can't go wrong with these things. I mean, they have so much good stuff in it um, to help supplement you, yeah, and although it's a supplement, I mean, I, we need to keep our immune system as strong as possible. And this is a great way to every day, especially busy people like myself, just grab this because they keep the vitamins and help put, you know, vitamins, minerals, stuff like that in your body um, to help keep you well balanced out. And there's about a month. And if you only take one a day, you can get two months out of a bottle. But like I said, that's definitely something worth having right there if you want to check that out as well. All right. Now, my last thing that I've used for years now, guys, here is On Guard from doTERRA. It's a great way to help boost your immune system, help su support it. Um, I can't say anything heal, heals or cures or anything like that, but if you put it in these veggie capsules, you can take it internally. Um, this is a got to in. This has got a blend of oils in it, a um, bunch of different oils in it. Matter of fact, let me read them off to you here. It's got wild orange, cinnamon bark, um, eucalyptus leaf, rosemary. Um, let's see what else is in this thing. Clove bud. And uh, anyway, there's there's a lot of oils in that blend. But right here, here's cinnamon bark. Now, guys, I don't know if you know, but if you look at a study on cinnamon, um, pretty much no bacteria is nothing nasty can live in the presence of cinnamon. Pretty interesting stuff. Be careful, don't drop your oils. My little corgi saurus tried to attack my cinnamon bottle. Um, frankincense, another slam dunk to keep help boost your immune system. Um, oregano, it's a go-to, been used for so, so long, uh, way in the ancient times. And lemon is a great one too. Um, and guys, there's so many more, but I encourage you to get the book. I don't have it laying here in front of me at the moment, uh, but um, Modern Essentials, I think it's in the 10th print edition right now, or 11th, um, but I would get a copy of that because it's a great resource for if you're just using essential oils. Because that's pretty much a lineup right there 
uh, of a lot of options to help you stay well, help boost your immune system. I hope this video has been a help to you. Some people, at, uh, I know people's been asking me about videos and stuff. I want and uh, wanted it done, so there it is. That's what I use. You see it before you, and I hope that's helped you. And as always, till we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Pepper Channel. I hope the Most High Yah Baruch can keep you, make His face shine upon you, show you favor, and give you shalom, my friends. And Yah Yeshua, Amen.